hospital <laughs> that uh, you can look up uh, like hand deformities and stuff. And there is some, but I've, I didn't see any where it was like the same on both hands. And the only ones that I really thought looked like this kind of like three prong finger is the people who have like, who have like mangled a hand, like you said, and they've lost a finger. And so they like lose the whole bone. So it, like cuts, you, do you know what I mean? Like they, they, the hand actually is like kind of like reshaped around the remaining fingers. And I was like, okay, well shit, that kind of, I got one for you. Like it. I got one for you. Oswald Cobblepot. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the exact same hand. Flipper fingers. Yeah. yeah, man. Same thing. Maybe you got the same penguinitis. Yeah. I mean, it's, if it comes from a coastal society, they're just there gobbling down fish. God, that, oh, that scene traumatized me for life. Give <laughs> fucking DeVito an Academy <laughs> Award. Yeah. Honest to God. Like, give him a fucking Academy <laughs> the Award. The greatest penguin. <laughs> two, uh, Bert, Burton had the two best villains. I don't give a f I know everybody loves Heath, Heath Ledger, but Nicholson and fucking DeVito. Just pretty good. Chef's kid. No, a weird not pretty good. The, that's just a weird twist on the penguin when you think so about it. Good. <laughs> so good. So weird. good. Uh, so, uh, it, like, 2000, around 2016, 2017, an uh, investigative rep journalist from Mexico named Jaime Mausen uh, introduced to some filmmakers from, from the Gaia.com um, uh, these bodies which had been brought to him or he had, he had gotten wind of and um, said that these – there were some there were some qualities to these mummies that they need to go ahead and and take a look at so the the guy uh you know the guy researchers filmmakers got there and you know took a look at this and they decided well this is something that is looks kind of legit looks, this looks fucking creepy yeah okay that's funny. <laughs> and, weird. and you know what in in defense in defense i'm gonna take a stance of when you when when you're a scientist or researcher but you have to add gaia in front of that you're looking for you're looking for one thing you're not really looking for too many other explanations other than aliens. you're looking you're looking for your own discovery show that's bold. yeah yeah exactly uh it, now the information that was that was given by mouse and was that these these bodies and it wasn't just one it wasn't just one there was there was a couple uh were actually uh it was claimed that they were discovered in 2015 by tomb robbers who had been working in the region of nazca a couple uh, of and, indianapolis joneses is what you're saying hey? yeah <laughs> um yeah and what they're what they're called uh normally and around those parts is they're called huaqueros um oh i love huaqueros they're so good you get them at 7-eleven two packs seven dollars <laughs> i thought those I, were the ones you had in bread for bread the huevos roqueros or whatever right Isn't that breakfast food it's like i'm pretty sure bone bones is hueso so it's kind of like it's kind of like bone wranglers maybe like oh, <laughs> like, awesome. maybe like a weird awesome. kind of translation yeah. I think would something would be close to that. bone yeah. bone raiders or bone bone wranglers maybe something yeah. like that is what I would try to translate. What is it? it to. That's my new term for loose women. Oh, buddy, alien <laughs> alien mommies and the bone wranglers. That's what this needs to be called. Yeah, AK, yeah, yeah. That's the subtitle on this episode. Yeah, alien mommies and the bone wranglers. Uh, great, love it. Um, but they, I, I guess they're the, what they like to be referred to as, as archaeological treasure hunters. So yes, yeah. Indianapolis <laughs> Jones, um, yeah. what they named the dog. And so these, um, uh, these were brought to, uh, Terry Hameen, who is the president of the Inkari Cusco Institute. So Terry Hameen, um, I, I looked this guy up a little bit, um, the Ankari Cusco Institute poses itself as some type of like cultural uh, archaeological preservation society. Terry, I mean, doesn't like, I mean, when I looked at his stuff, like I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure like what his qualifications are. I know he's got like bone a bone wrangler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's a fucking expert <laughs> bone wrangler. Um, he's from, he's, a, I think he's actually from France. So he's actually French and, but he lives in, uh, in that area. Like Peru. Where, where did you get that from? The Henri? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Henri? <laughs> I wrangle the bones. Uh -huh. uh, but he is featured. He is featured prominently in the um, uh, in, in the Gaia films, which we had to kind of refer to for this uh, for this case file. <laughs> so um, the one that the, the body that made the biggest splash and that you usually will see in the headlines, headline pictures, uh, and the. the the websites that that talk about this uh, this discovery uh, is one that is um, uh, they they measured it out. 
It's about uh, five six, one hundred and sixty eight centimeters. So you add water tall. to this. You add water to this. You got Alien Shack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe, or maybe what happened is they they threw him in a tub, but he absorbed the water. They didn't add more, right? So he just kind of stopped, right? <laughs> Uh, it, uh, most of the proportions, like we like we said before, are similar to were similar to humans. Um, but the things that set the actual uh, this apart from a normal human uh, mummy, uh, where the where the three long fingers on each hand, uh, you had a, a somewhat uh, elongated skull. Uh, there's no nose of which to speak of, and there were no ears. Um, no nose. Just, yeah, there were no so fucking Voldemortians then. <laughs> we'll find a race that we don't want to fuck with. Um, it, it was covered in some side in some type of white powder, which they assume some had some kind of uh, preservative qualities, and this is what had allowed it to uh, to survive uh, the element. Uh, you know, uh, total uh, total decay, <laughs> as as it were, and the um, uh, the preservation was you know I, to some extent it seemed outstanding that you would find find something like this, and then when they um, uh, when they examined it, they took X rays, did CT scans, did all of this stuff. Uh, it was it was just, they suspected that the internal organs were were intact. That's what was said in one of the reports. This is interesting. Uh, so these, I'm, I'm starting to get a Rick Dyer feel here. Is this possum did we eat? <laughs> <laughs> a little possum meat and baby powder. Yes, yeah. we uh, at this point we uh, lost the nose. Uh, fuck, it's fine. It's an alien. They might not have noses. In this in this part of our our extraterrestrial investigative uh, journey uh, as alien theorists theorizing, you know, we're no stranger to hoaxes. Like we're no stranger yeah. to, to these things. So there's there was a lot of stuff when when I when I began to look at this and you know. I, re- I remember this in 2017. I remember when this was popping up on new sites. I remember seeing all these things and, and following it. Um, and, you know, and there's there's a lot of back and forth between uh, the, the people who were the, the discoverers, the, the people who had been in on the investigation, the, the Gaia team uh, of researchers. And, they, and it's not like they didn't have um, uh, what – it's not like they didn't have experts uh, on the team. They had people who were um, – uh, people from the local area and uh, other scientists abroad who were brought bone in, wranglers, <laughs> some bone wranglers to e- examine this thing. And they ran an entire battery of tests. Like we said before, they did x-rays, they did CT scans, they did a for soft tissue. They did the, um, uh, and then they did the DNA tests because that would be, th- you know, that tells all most of the time, you know, like, okay, like a DNA test for, for most scientific purposes that can be like, all right, this is exactly what is this? Is this human? Is this not human? Um, so when they took the DNA sample from this, from this creature, and it's like, I think they took mul- multiple, they took one from the shoulder blade region. And then one, I think what they said from the hip region, both of the places that you would find, um, you know, where it's the, the correct me if I'm wrong, Andrew. Like that's where you would get the bone. Like the bone would be dense enough to to get like a legit Without breaking anything. Yeah, yeah. So like that's where you would get that. Those are the best places to take a uh, to get an intact DNA sample. Um, so from this is a quote. So from the DNA sample, we were able to identify that this is a woman, uh, and they they Ooh, called with the lady <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. now known as Maria is what they they referred to. They they. They Maria, Maria, <laughs> and they said that the the Y chromosome, like in humans, is is missing. So therefore, they referred to it and they labeled it as 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 female. Um, and, and this was all this was information that was given by uh, Michael Asiev, who is the head of the genetic analysis department of the Russian Academy of Science, uh, in in the Gaia.com video. <laughs> Yeah. Here's a question for you too, though. Like, what do you think the chances are that they like they parcel out these these jobs? Right? Like, are these guys getting a whole? Are they getting oversight out of the whole specimen, or are they like, here, these are these D- DNA samples. We need you to fucking analyze this. So, like, almost like I get compartmentalize like the assessment, and then it's like, oh yeah, no, this is definitely human and definitely a female, as opposed to not seeing all the weird ass fucking chicken sure, bones not, not and shit <laughs> missing, right? Not injecting any kind of bias to be like, kind of be like, look, this is a, 
that this is a sample we just want you to analyze. And, exactly. And, yeah. So, and then all of a sudden they're like, boom, they said it's, it's a female. Like, boom. And it's like, well, you know, we also didn't see the fucking monkey skull that you added. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.